Alrighty, welcome back to Unreal Engine Indy. We are going to go over the Anim Instance class. We're going to create one for the enemy because they need a U Anim Instance class. And we're going to do it basically the same way we did for the character. But first, what I would like to do is get this error resolved. So what I did was I was using uh, .NET, an old version, like 4.6, and I updated it to like 4.8. And for some reason, now the Wukong will not compile the project. And the error says right here, unresolved external symbol public, a enemy, a enemy, referenced in public static void so I looked into this and the reason for it is because of the constructor what we have here in the enemy melee it says a enemy melee so right here we have a enemy melee we have public now this is the constructor but if you look here in the CPP file well there is no constructor so that was so that's the reason the error is being thrown so if we come here generate definition we go ahead and save and then we'll just go ahead and do another build now the build succeeded so I'm going to go ahead and push this up. I already fixed it on the main branch, but I'm going to go ahead and push this up. Let's see, added constructor to CPP file. So now the project builds. And I'll just go ahead and push this up. So if you were getting that error, that is the reason you need to go ahead and do the constructor. I uh, don't know why I didn't do it last time, but the project compiled on an old version of the .NET. So the new version, for some reason, it was complaining. So we just went on ahead and fixed that. Okay, so what we need to do is create a uanim instance class. So I am going to go into here. I'm going to do this for the character because we have Wukong Anim instance for the character, but we need one for the enemy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, create new class. I'm just going to click on all classes and search for Anim instance. And this is the same way we did it for the character. And you want to make sure it is the anim instance. And then I'm just going to say enemy anim instance because we're going to use this for all the enemies. And we go ahead and create the class. It's an enemy. Okay. Shouldn't take very long. There we go. Okay, so now let's jump back into. here and I just need to add an um, instance to get just need to add those files go ahead and push that up Okay, so we have animinstance.h and animinstance.cpp. So, first thing we need is we need a public section. And inside that public section, I'm 
I am just going to copy it basically how I have here from my other project. This, okay, this will act like the tick function blueprint callable because we need it to be callable in the animation blueprint that we create later. So void update animation properties, float delta time. And if you remember, we did the same thing for the character. So if we go to private and we have, let's say, get enemy. But what we need to do is we're going to forward declare it a enemy. So we do a U property visible anywhere blueprint read only meta allow private access equals true. And then we also are going to need the speed of enemy. So we are going to need the speed of the enemy and what I'm going to do is just go ahead and copy it from my other project right here. So you property visible anywhere, blueprint read only, category movement because this has to deal with the animation blueprint allow private access equals true it's going to be a float the speed in the animation blueprint that we create this is what you hook up to the uh, blend space so and we're going to need offset y'all this is used for strafing for enemies that strafe for a 1D, 1D blend space, you don't really need that. And I'm just putting it in here because I don't know if we're going to be doing 8 way blend space <clears throat> with the enemy or not. But I'm putting it in here in case you create an 8 way blend space. Okay, so and in the header file, this is what we've added update animation properties, we pass in the delta time, and we create a forward declaration, class enemy, and we get the enemy, the enemy class, and float speed and float movement offset y'all. Now what we need to do is go ahead and create definition of this and we are going to need I know we're going to need, need this we're just going to go ahead and do enemy and then we're going to do enemy.h <clears throat> and we're going to need the kismet library is met math library kind of threw me off because meant library I N L nope we need the H okay so if the enemy equals null pointer we do enemy cast to a enemy and we do a try get pawn owner so if you've done this in the blueprint way you'll notice that you basically do the same thing you cast a you do a try get pawn owner when you right click in the blueprint you type in try get pawn owner and you use it within there that's in the event event tab of the animation blueprint 
So that's basically what we're doing here. And we do if enemy. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and copy this from other projects. I just want to type it in. So what we're doing is we're going to get the lateral speed of the enemy from the velocity. We're using an F vector. And we need velocity enemy get velocity. So you're just getting the velocity of the enemy. Basically the same thing we do in the blueprint way. And then we're zero, zeroing out the velocity dot Z. You need to zero that out. And your speed equals velocity dot size. Then what we need to do is we need to get offset y'all to use in the blend spaces. So we're using an F rotator aim rotation equals enemy get base aim rotation. F rotator movement rotation. This is we use the U Kismet math library. Make root from X enemy get velocity. Then we do a movement offset y'all. That is what we call in the blueprint and attach it up. So movement offset y'all you kismet math library normalized a delta rotator. We need the movement rotation and aim rotation. And that is it. And let's go ahead and save this with the probably const where it can be made const. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and do that in my other project as well. So let's go ahead and compile this. We have the editor running. And let's just go ahead and do a hot reload. Okay, so now we got the anim instance class created. What I want to do is go into the enemy folder. We want to right click, go to animation, and then we want to choose animation blueprint. Choose the Chimera skeleton. This is very important. Parent class says anim instance. We do not want that. We want the enemy anim instance that we created. Go ahead and click create. Call this Chimera Anim BP. Go ahead, open that up. And let's see, we need a new add new state machine. We'll just go ahead and plug that in there. We'll go ahead, double click, and I just want to call this we want to add state and then I'm just going to call it idle a walk or run and then what you want to do is double click that you want to come in here and what we are looking for is idle relaxed a I believe no idle relaxed B no I'd all relaxed a right here. Yes. So you want the HS auto relaxed a. This is I believe it's non additive or something like that. So what we need to do is just go ahead and click compile. Because if you drag in this one here and you try to hook it up, it's not going to work. Because you see that sequence player additive. We do not want that. We want sequence player HS auto relaxed. So go ahead and compile, save, and then what you want to do, because it's not going to show up, but you want to go into mesh, animation mode, blueprint, animation class, and 
I believe it's Chimera Animation Blueprint. There we go. Go ahead and click Save. And also we need to go into the Event Graph because we're going to need this later. We want to do Update Animation Properties. Hook up the Delta Time to there. Click Compile and Save. So later on, we'll add a blend space. But right now, I just want to get this going so we can do the attacking and do the damage. So if we click play, we notice that Chimera's animated. So that's good. That's what we wanted. And when we come up, it says activate weapon, apply damage, apply damage, deactivate weapon, things like that. So. Let's just end it here. The, that's what I wanted to show you today was creating the animations class and start hooking things up so we can just get it animated. And in the next video, we're going to start doing the damage. So I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.